Saturday night in Philadelphia, Flyers forward Hayden Hodgson boarded Bruins defender Josiah Didier. As the video shows, Didier was carrying the puck towards the back of his own net and then made a sudden cut back to his right, and Hodgson was caught off guard and, and went through his back a little bit. So here's Didier, though. He's allowed to make this play. And I know what people are going to say. They're going to say, why do defenders always turn their back like this and make themselves vulnerable? But watch what he's trying to do here. Hodgson is coming in here with quite a bit of speed. And he sees the defender wants to go behind the net. So he steps into that lane and angles it off. He closes it off with his stick down. He's in good low posture. Great defensive posture and angling technique here. It's perfect. But he has to recognize that that defender isn't going to just skate in there and take the hit. Why would that defender just continue on in that path knowing he's about to get crunched? Why do we expect defenders to do that instead of trying to save themselves? He's trying to make a hockey play. That's his job. Hodgson's job, on the other hand, is what we should be worried about. His job is to try and make contact, try and separate that player from the puck, but it's up to him to do it safely. And he knows full well, because he just steered the defender away from the back of the net, that he's probably not going to go that way anymore. Hodgson does a great job and forces him to turn back. So why doesn't he just veer over to his right and get over to the other shoulder? Why does he just veer directly square into the back of this player? It makes no sense to me how they don't see it coming. And to give him credit, he doesn't drive through the back. He doesn't actually hit Didier from behind. And the reason his leg comes off the ice is because he's trying to throw all his weight to his left to avoid going through the back. He wants to go off to the side and he does a great job of avoiding really dangerous contact. So the thing he does dangerously, he actually goes out of his way to do it as safely as possible. That's why I'm happy this was just a minor penalty. No need to go any further. But it would have been so easy for him to, instead of going to the back and reaching his arm out, to just cut all the way across Didier's body and get over to his left shoulder and angle him off the other way. And he should have been prepared to do that because the action the defender took was completely predictable and reasonable for the circumstance. And it was created by the attacker who angled him that way on purpose and wanted him to go that way. So the minor penalty was a good call for this not that dangerous but exceptionally avoidable contact.